hard to see it. He's being brought out. Man. Yes, my people, match day. We're going to the Emirates, see Crystal Palace v Arsenal. Arsenal top of the table, flying high. We're three points about the relegation zone, so somehow in 12 after sacking Vieira. It's not been the best, well, it's been a horrible period actually, being a Palace fan, obviously. You know, I say the same thing week in, week out. I've got no confidence, no hope. I'm probably, we're probably going to lose 3 now. that's my prediction today. You know, we just, I mean, I'm more looking forward to the doubt rather than the match, but yeah, that's going to be long. Um, but. <sighs> in a way day got nothing better to do on a Sunday so we'll see what happens but we're most likely going to lose so yeah I hear Paddy McCarthy's going to be taking in charge uh, with the team today who knows if he's going to make some changes but yeah we've got some big work ahead of us between now and the end of the season especially with the international break coming up for two weeks who knows who's going to take charge rumour has it um, hasn't who or could Roy Hodgson is very likely to be the next manager or between now and the end of the season temporary and that but yeah I mean being a Palace fan right now is just pure misery who knows? I mean, the best thing I can hope for is a goal. So fingers crossed we do that for the least. So see you there on the way to the Emirates. With Joe, what are your thoughts before the game? Seen the lineup? Uh, yeah, so the lineup's certainly interesting. I think that it, it, I'm surprised that they haven't gone sort of a bit more different than they have. It's very same old, same old, uh, with the same sort of faces in there. But you know, today, as a lot of people have said, it's uh, you know, it's more of a training exercise. You know, we're not really expected to get anything here, and I'm just really looking forward to the international break and bringing in a new manager. Uh, just to try and freshen things up a little bit. But uh, in terms of today, I think that it's going to be 4-3 to Crystal Palace. Arsenal score a lot of goals. Love the positivity. Um, <laughs> Arsenal score a lot of goals, so I think they get three goals. Whether we score four <laughs> is another question, but it's more of an optimism. Yeah, love the positivity. And then being realistic and rational. But yeah, they're my thoughts, yeah. with the dive there, you diving scum. Oh, oh, play 15 minutes, there's more fight determination for Palace man. That's what I like to see against the league leaders. Arsenal showing up, speaking loud for the first time, flipping LB quiet as I'm out in here, man, apart from the Palace win. What are your thoughts so far, Joe? Uh, I'm actually quite impressed. I think we're doing all right. Defensively, we're very good. And defensively, we're creating chances. On the counter, we look dangerous, but I feel like Arsenal are still well in this game. We're in this game. It's yeah, a good game so quite far. quite even, though. I'll give it that. <laughs> Zaha, 
again, dispossessed, not tracking back, and then they go and score. Oh, man! Leandro Trossard. Right, it's done. Such a shame, man. Playing so well and then get caught off on the counter the way we did. It's poor defender from War, but it came from Zaha losing the ball as well. Nothing Whitworth could do. It was a good finish from Martinelli, but it's like the Brighton game started off well, go a goal down, and it's just like we lost our heads and we've just been giving the ball away for the last couple of minutes. And it's all Arsenal. Give it up, just give it up. Trying to check it for offside. I mean, probably going to give it anyway. Goal given. Just giving the ball away, and also need to go and score. Shot deflected from an Arsenal corner. Bit of embarrassment, absolute embarrassment. Fans are already off home already. Oh, bloody hell, it's a mockery right now. It's an absolute fucking mockery. Some boo, some fans are just hopeless. Same old shit, go go down, fall apart, 2-0, dead, 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 dead. Rich from Eagle Eye football, man. I just want to get your thoughts, because that was a disgrace, the way we ended our first half. Started so well, didn't we? Started off so promising, the, yeah. a lot of fight, passion. Big up Eduardo and Elise, just yeah. working their socks off. Yeah. The Corey with interceptions and stuff, he hasn't been booked. Very professional performance. And then a lapse of concentration defensively yeah. from what from our most experienced players out there in Wolf and Zaha walking around yeah. and allowing Ben White to overlap time and time again has cost us this game. Yeah, exactly. It's so frustrating. It's, it? it's lazy. He's just walking around and it's so frustrating. If he doesn't want to be out there, then just come off the pitch. Exactly. We're literally playing with 10 men. I don't care that he's our talisman, but the bare minimum is you work. Oh, yeah, work your socks up when you get on that pitch. 100%. Yeah. And what's annoying me the most? He's then blaming the Corey. Oh, no, he's, no. He's there screaming at the Corey to come across. No, that's your man. Yeah, it's foul. It's not, it's, it's not on, is it? It's not on whatsoever. It's terrible. What, would you, what changes would you make half time? How would you approach the second half? Um, right Lucas' legs are gone. Yeah, and, you know, he started off actually pretty decent, but his legs are gone. Get a hammer on. run. Yeah. Or, or Will Hughes, one of the two. Keep that fight in midfield. I think in midfield we've competed really well as such. Um, Maybe even, I know it sounds mad, get him a tip, we just need to go for it. Yeah, we need to get, get a goal. goal. That's what you know, I care about. Even if we yeah. can see two, three, four more, we need to be able to score because that's the problem. We can't score goals. You know, and that's when we lack the confidence. Second half side. Can we just get a goal? That's what I want to see. Or else we're going to get Hannah. Joe, hope, hopeful for the second half. <laughs> no, no, oh, really. God. No, no, my optimism's gone. It's gone. <laughs> we're going to win 3-2, someone just said. I don't think that's going to happen in a million flipping years. Oh boy, Palace man, the boy of this club is an absolute flipping nightmare right now. Target, I think. <laughs> ah, it's done. Uh, I don't even. If someone chipped it in. I don't. I don't really care. Uh, people already going now. <laughs> yeah, game's done. Game is done. Shaka. Three nil. Probably gonna be about four or five, and then I'll be out of here before you know it. You know what I mean? Coming really. They're top for the reason, top of the table for a reason, man. Yeah.
for a moment. Ah, oh, flipped it out. What a chance, what a chance. Would have scored that 3 2 back in the game. We're never going to get a better chance than that. Man! 4 1 Arsenal. Bit of sucker, I don't even know. Be heading off for the next minute, 10 minutes to go, 4 1 down. What's the point? Just what's the point? We're at full time in the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 4, Palace 1. I mean, I mean that, that, that's the worst it can get. Getting hammered by the league leaders. I mean, people were so surprised. I mean, why are they surprised? It's Arsenal top of the league for a reason. What did they expect? Us to flipping win 4 3 or 3 f flipping nil? I mean, come on. I mean, we're rubbish. I mean, everything about the club right now stinks. Everything about the club right now is hideous. You know, from the admin, the board, the players, the attitude, the performance is on and off the pitch. The fans fighting amongst themselves and arguing, you know, acting, acting up. I mean, terrible performance. Started well in the first 25 minutes, went a goal down, back to square one, really. Same old Palace, you know. I mean, it just doesn't get any better, does it? You know, we got a goal, that's a positive. We had some shots on goal. It's just going to be positive, really, and that's it. You know, I can't think of anything else. I mean, I say the same thing week in, week out. It's just boring and dull and just winds me that up, really. You know, got the players don't care. The board don't give a shit, do they? I mean, why, why, why do I even bother? Why, why, why do I even bother sometimes? I question myself that actually, you know, watching that crap, spending all my money, you know, giving up all my free time, you know, spending a day travelling away to Birmingham, I don't know, Liverpool, Manchester, flipping Newcastle, Liverpool, you know, flipping Leeds or whatever, just to watch that I mean, come on. It's an absolute disgrace. It's a mess. Bro. It's just chaos on that pitch. Chaos within the club. It's been a miserable week to be a Palace fan, you know. I will say thanks for the Palace fans. You were just showing love to the channel today. Ask for big up yourselves and that as well. You know you are and that as well. Shout out Rich JC from Eagle Lab Football. Um, we were at the game today. Probably got a vlog out and a few other content on the way as well. Make sure to subscribe to them. And shout out my guy Joe and that as well. You know. But, oh God, two weeks away from Palace. I'm looking forward to it. Two weeks away from football. Huh, I'm blessed. And then we got big, the big game against Leicester on the 1st of April. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about that at all. You know, near the time to be fair, but yeah, I mean, this club's in the mud right now, it's in the bin, everything about it stinks. You know, it's like someone's came into the club and switched the lights off completely because everything's just gone backwards. And we are in a living crisis right now, down to the board, down to the players not performing, down to Vieira before we got sacked as well with the results. One win in 17 is an absolute disgrace, it's as simple as that, it's a load of crap. And, I mean, can't get any worse than this, can it? I mean, this is the worst it can get. This is the wheels coming off. I warned people before they laughed at me. Well, <laughs> look at it. No, I wasn't wrong, was I? So, yeah, but... Oh, it's depressing. Being a Palace supporter, I can't even get up to miss it. I can't even be excited watching my team, you know. At least we scored a goal today. That's what I really care about. But we're just walking into the championship, falling like a stone. Simple as that. Like, share, subscribe. Socials down below. See you on my next video. Pray for this club because it's going backwards and it's going downhill massively.